Hey guys, watching DShack Tech, and today I'll be showing you guys how to open SSH into your iPhone 4 or iPod Touch, and how to use the application CyberDuck on your Macintosh computer. Let's get started. Open SSH is this little tool that you can use with the Cydia Store to allow you to um, transfer files wirelessly with your iDevice over a Wi-Fi network. Um, to do this, you need two things for this thing for Open SSH to work. First thing is you need to have OpenSSH downloaded onto your iDevice through the Cydia Store. It's quite simple. Go into Cydia Store, go to the search tab, type in OpenSSH, exactly how it sounds. It's a free download. Download that, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing There's nothing visual that's going to come with this download. It's just going to show up on your springboard or your settings. It's just going to allow you to transfer files um, wirelessly with your I, iDevice. Second thing you need to download is this web is um, CyberDuck. Um, for me, since I'm on a Mac, you need CyberDuck if you're on a Macintosh. If you're on a Windows computer, uh, I think it's something called WinSCP or something like that. But since I'm on a Mac today, I'm showing you guys CyberDuck. So it's quite simple. Just go to this website, cyberduck.en.softonic.com slash Mac. Or you can just Google CyberDuck download, free download. And that's how you're going to get CyberDuck. So you're going to hit a free download. And it's going to take it's a really quick download, it's really um, small file. And it's going to come up and look something like this with the rubber ducky like that. And there it is. There's CyberDuck. That's basically the home page. And basically, what you have to do to um, use this um, application, you need to have your IP address from your iDevice. So there it is. You go into settings, go into Wi Fi. And then hit the little arrow to the right of the of the Wi-Fi service you're using, and then you can see the IP IP address. You want to copy that somewhere onto your computer, and then copy and paste it into um, the CyberDuck. So you want to go open connection. Um, you want to make sure your drop-down menu says SFTP SSH file transfer protocol. Then the server is your IP address. So control paste your IP address, um, your username. If you're new to CyberDuck and OpenSSH, your username will be root, and then your password will be Alpine A L P I N E. Um, so those are the username. So it's root. Then you're gonna go Alpine. For me, I already I have changed my password, so mine's a different password than most of yours. But um, yours is going to be Alpine if you're new to this. Then simply you're gonna hit connect. And then it's going to open up the connection to your to your IP address, and then there it is. You're in your private um, var root folders within your um, iDevice. If you guys know of the application from Cydia called iFile, you'll be accustomed to this um, folder setup with the private var and root. Um, so it's quite simple. You go back into private, and then you can get. You can tr transfer files wirelessly with this, so you can potentially um, you can add themes to your um, iP iPod Touch or iPhone wirelessly like this. You just drag a theme you downloaded from the internet and drop it right into the themes.gcga2p, and you will have themes right on your winter board after it um, after it transfers. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean by this. So if you go into your downloads file. And then you're gonna go test two. That's a file. That's a theme I created. And then you're just gonna drag it around to the themes. And then it's gonna go up to the new transfers folder. And then it's gonna start transferring right to your um, i device wirelessly. And you do need Wi-Fi connection to do this, and it's gonna be that quickly. And there it is, right uploaded to your i device, and you'll be able to see that once you restart your i device onto your winter board. That is it for this very quick video of how to open SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. Hope you guys like it. Check my previous video on my channel and check out my Twitter feed for my thoughts on the daily tech news. If you like what you see here, subscribe to my channel, DShackTech. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next video.